Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here's your latest integral of the day. We have an indefinite integral of x cubed plus 6x minus 2 over x to the fourth plus 6x squared dx. If you want to try it on your own first, then just go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to jump right in. So yes, we're dealing with a rational function. I'm going to try to do partial fraction decomposition first and then figure out how to integrate. So degree of the denominator is already higher than the degree of the numerator. That means we can just jump to finding the partial fraction decomp. No need to do long division first. And I have to factor that denominator completely. So x to the fourth plus 6x squared, I can take out the greatest common factor of x squared. And then I'm left with x squared plus 6. That's as broken down as that's going to get. So here notice, since we have x squared, which is a repeated linear factor, right? It's x to the first, that's the factor, but it's repeated. Then we have to list it out to the first power and then separately to the second power. And say had this been x cubed, I would also put plus x cubed in the bottom, right? You start at degree one and then work your way up to whatever you see. But we're done with those two, and then I still have to add in now x squared plus 6. Okay, so in the numerators, for the repeated linear factors, I just have constants a and b. And then since x squared plus 6 doesn't factor any further, it's an irreducible quadratic. That means in the numerator, we need a linear expression cx plus d. Okay, good. Now we're going to solve for the constants a, b, c, d. So let's multiply through by the LCD, which is x squared, x squared plus 6. So on the left-hand side, we're still going to have x cubed plus 6x minus 2 equals, I'll have a times just 1x now, x squared plus 6, plus b times x squared plus 6, plus cx plus d times x squared. Now, sometimes when you're solving for the constants a, b, c, d, you can just substitute in different values of x that would make some of the factors zero and solve really easily. When you have an irreducible quadratic, though, there isn't any real number that you could substitute in that would make this zero. So in this case, usually it's just better to expand everything, multiply everything out, and then we're going to equate the coefficients of like terms. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to distribute everything on the right-hand side. Okay, we're going to have a little distribution multiplication party. ax cubed plus 6ax plus bx squared plus 6b plus cx cubed plus dx squared. Good? Okay, so now look at this equation here. The highest degree term I notice is x cubed, right, on both sides. So I'm going to equate the coefficients of x cubed. On the left-hand side, there's just that 1x cubed. And then that has to equal the coefficients of x cubed on the right-hand side, which would be a plus c. All right, moving on down the list, x squared. I don't see any x squareds on the left. So 0, ooh, 0 has to equal b plus d. Okay, x to the first. We got 6x to the first on the left-hand side. So that has to equal 6a. That's it. Okay, cool. I love it. I love it. And then lastly, our constants. We have negative 2 on the left. That has to equal 6b. So right off the bat from the last two equations, I know a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative one-third, and then if I come back and substitute those results in, okay, if a is one, one equals one plus c, so c is zero, and then b is negative one-third, so that means d is going to be positive one-third. Perfect! Okay, so now that I have all of the constants a, b, c, d, I'm going to go back Substitute them in here to the partial fraction decomposition and rewrite my integrand using the partial fraction decomp. Okay, so now we have, let's see here, integral. A was 1, so just 1 over x. And then B was 
negative one third. So I'm gonna write minus one third over x squared plus, and then c was zero. So no x term in the numerator, just d the constant. What was d? d was one third, okay. One third over x squared plus six dx. Very nice. So can we integrate each of these? Well, let's see. One over x, you should know the antiderivative of that. No problem. What about one third over x squared? I'm gonna rewrite it as one third x to the negative second. Maybe that'll help you. You should be ready to go with this one. You just, when we, when we integrate, we're not doing it yet. We're just gonna add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. We got it. What about this one third over x squared plus six? I'm gonna write it as rad six squared. And you might be thinking, what in the world are you doing, Professor V? Well, no, this one does not involve natural log. Don't you dare think that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna jog your memory in case you forgot. Integral, one over x squared plus a squared dx is one over a tan inverse x over a plus c. That you should have memorized. So this matches exactly that form. We don't have an x here, okay? If we did, we'd do a u sub and then it would involve ln. But I have a variable squared plus a constant squared. And even if it's not immediately obvious that it's a constant squared, you make it be a constant squared. You go, oh, u, u6, you're actually rad 6 squared, okay? So boom. Okay, we're ready. I don't need to split these up. We can just knock it all out. So we've got for the first term, natural log, absolute value of x. Don't forget the absolute value. Good. Now I'm going to add one to the exponent here, divide by the new exponent. So it's going to be plus one third x to the negative first plus. Don't let this one third freak you out. Just pull it outside in your mind, right? It just hangs out, comes along for the ride. One third. Then we have one over a. So one over rad six tan inverse of x over a, so that would be x over rad 6 plus c. And that's pretty much it. I would clean it up ever so barely. ln absolute value of x plus, wouldn't this look better if we just wrote it as 1 over 3x? Yes, it would, Professor V. Plus 1 over, ooh, straighten up. Here we go. 3 rad 6 tan inverse x over rad six plus c voila mic drop stylus drop whatever you want to say that was a lovely one okay so i hope you enjoyed this integral of the day i don't think it was too incredibly spicy probably just a good review i'll be digging through and doing some more i've gotten a few requests for some integrals to solve so stay tuned turn those notifications on so you don't miss when i upload I'm going to be solving another exam from Calc 2 and then maybe an old Calc 3 exam soon as well. All right. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Math with Professor V. Love you all. I'll be back soon. Bye.